In this video, I'm going to show you the power of using blending modes to take some simple videos and create cool looking effects from them. So in this case, I just have two sample clips, one of this close-up face and one of the sky on the computer, and a bunch of numbers slashing up. So all they have to do is take those clips and put them on top of each other. In this case, the underneath clip is a lot higher resolution. So I am just going to be able to scale this clip up in the effects panel, I can just increase the scale, and it's not going to be too big of a worry, because we're already kind of going to blur it out and use it as an abstract effect. But ideally, you want to use two clips of at least the same size, and the power of this lies in the fact that most of this clip is dark except for the bright letters on the computer screen, and that's where we can use the blending mode lighten or screen or color dodge. These are all additive style blending modes, and they will all only show through whatever is lighter than the clip underneath, so if I set them on color dodge or lighten this is what those effects look like, and I can also play around a little bit with the basic color correction in the Lumetri color panel to increase the contrast and let's say dark in or, or light in this clip, or, or maybe just dark in the shadows so that we really don't get anything else, but the text I'm really gonna crank the scale up and you can almost project these letters onto his face, and I can even do different things like add a blur, so a Gaussian blur, whether on this layer or the layer underneath, if I just want our virtual camera or eyes to focus on what's underneath or in in the opposite fashion, I can blur our original layer if I want to sort of focus on these texts flashing on the screen on top. The other thing that I can do if I want to add some color on top of all of this just to blend it all is let's create a new adjustment layer. So file new adjustment layer, and I can do something like just add our own Lumetri color grading on top. So if I go to creative, I can add my own tints if I want, or I can use ALUT, so there's some preset ones. I sell my own on my website. There's obviously tons of LUTs available on the internet, but something like ALUT could help blend together the entire thing. Here's another example, in this case, some ocean waves. We can apply those waves on a blending mode of multiply, for example, or maybe a blending mode of soft light. And we can get this sort of wave texture on top of the face. In this case, maybe not as cool as the other look, but you can just see the different ideas. Okay, that's it for today's video. You can check out hundreds of more video editing and other Adobe tutorials on my channel and subscribe to stay tuned for all my new videos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.